Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome to Pelvic Exercises. Well, what is a pelvic organ prolapse? Pelvic organ prolapse is like a hernia in the walls of the vagina and today we're going to take a closer look at some of the different types of pelvic organ prolapse and what actually happens with a pelvic organ prolapse. To do that, I need to show you this illustration. So let's take a, cl a closer look at a woman's body from side on. So this is a woman's pelvis. You can see here, this is a, a side on view in this little illustration. We've got the bladder here at the front. This is this round structure here. The uterus up here. The walls of the vagina that I've highlighted in pink. And here's the bowel, the rectum coming out through here. And here are the pelvic floor muscles slinging underneath. So these organs all together are called the pelvic organs and when the pelvic organs move out of their normal position this is what is termed a pelvic organ prolapse. Now different types of prolapse can actually occur and they occur because the pelvic floor muscles can become weaker and thinner. The pelvic, the structures that actually, the tissues that actually wrap around the pelvic organs can weaken as well and not hold their, their, these organs in their proper position. The walls of the vagina can become thin and weak and floppier as well and this can allow the pelvic organs to actually move into the walls of the vagina. So some typical types of prolapse are bladder prolapse. So bladder here, you've got the bladder here, the bladder can actually move into the front wall of the vagina there, it can actually move right down and even come out, you might even see it as a bulge at the entrance of the, of the vagina when it's a really severe prolapse. Alternatively, the rectum can move into the back wall of the vagina and some women notice that when they strain to empty their bowels or after a bowel movement, they notice a bulge at that entrance of the vagina and that's the back wall of the vagina protruding out with the rectum behind it. Another typical type of prolapse, or another common type of prolapse, is a uterine prolapse. So when the uterus hasn't got its strong supports, it can actually move down and the cervix can actually move down into the entrance of the vagina, so come down a whole lot further rather than sit up nice and high where it should sit. So you can see there's a number of different types of pelvic organ prolapse that can occur and really a pelvic organ prolapse means like a hernia into the walls of the vagina when the pelvic organs don't sit where they should in the pelvis.